Reflected in manager Walter Smith's lineup, he's without Bo Johnson, Richard Goff, and Stuart McCall, who were all wounded either physically or mentally in Switzerland. But it does mean the two Ukrainians, Kuznetsov and Mikhailo Janko, played together for the first time in the first team. And there is Alexei Mikhailichenko, who makes his first competitive appearance here after playing in the 2-0 win at Falkirk last week. He cost a Scottish record £2.5 million from Sampdoria. Rangers players tell me they've been very impressed by him in training. Now they and their fans hope to see the magic where it really matters. Well, just as he did on that very dramatic final league day of last season, Nigel Spackman again captains Rangers in the absence of Richard Goff. At £500,000, he's proved an excellent buy for the Ibrox club. He's been ever-present this season and today plays his 10th consecutive game. There's Jim McLean's Dundee United lineup, and he'll be hoping for a repeat of last season when he enjoyed victory here. United are, in fact, the last team to record a win at Ibrox. That was on November the 10th last year. They welcome Jim McAnally back for the first time this season after serious injury. Today provides another milestone in the fine career of full-back and captain Morris Malpass, who won his 43rd cap in Bern this week. He makes his 500th first-team appearance after signing 12 years ago. At the age of 29, he has a few more records to set at club and international level. Another stalwart on the Dundee United side is Dave Bowman, who arrived at Tanadice in 1986 in a double signing from Coventry City, which also involved Jim McAnally. Bowman's played in every game this season, today being his 10th consecutive appearance. The referee is Mr Andrew Waddle from Edinburgh. So Dundee United get the match underway. In front of a big noisy crowd here. Early free kick awarded to Dundee United. Well, this is the 65th meeting in the Premier League between these sides. Rangers have won 31, United have won 13, and 20 of the matches have been drawn. In fact, the first Premier League meeting between the sides, it was a midweek match way back in November 1975. Only 10,000 at that match, reflecting some indifferent league form from the two teams. But uh, that's not the case today. A crowd of over 30,000 here. Rangers in second place on 10 points. Dundee United in a mid-table position on six. That's McKinley. Cut out by Nisbet. Well, applause for Scott Nisbet. Very popular figure with the Rangers fans. He's already got himself a goal this season. One ball now for Haitley. He's out jumped though by John Clark. Played by Mikhailo Chenko. They get forward to McCoist. And that was Gary Bowen. Heading behind for the corner to Rangers. There's Netsov moving to the edge of the United penalty area. Scott Nisbet's also up there as Houstra takes the corner. Hitley climbing for it. It's headed off the line. Main at full stretch. Well, Hitley showing what a dangerous player he can be, it was Jim McAnally who deprived Rangers of the goal Italy climbing well, McAnally popping up on the line Robertson heading the ball away but straight to Bowman now it's Christian Daly taking on Kuznetsov have a bit of time to get used to the pace of the game of course he played uh, just a full 90 minutes last season against St Mirren Scott Nisbet keeping a close eye on Duncan Ferguson Bolin coming in at the far side Malpass taken out of the play by Ferguson and uh, just calming things down McKinley for Dundee United, running at Spackman. Good play, steps away from Kuznetsov. Now it's Bowen. Bowman, well, just inches away from the head of Duncan Ferguson. 
and he got him flapping a bit there as the cross ball came in. Certainly a dangerous one for Rangers. Hitley claiming, lovely touch to Ali McCoist. Well, good combination between the two Rangers strikers. David Neary staying with McCoist all the way. It was Hitley out jumping Bolin. McCoist acting quickly. Neary staying with him. to Bowman, the shot well, Bowman's shot seemed to take a slight deflection and it had Andy Gorham scrambling across his line Bowman proving a danger to Rangers in this game, just a slight deflection there long ball from Nisbet for Hitley. John Clarkson there making the challenge ball going behind, the corner kick awarded Main, the United keeper, organising his defence. So the sun's shining now above Ibrook Stadium. After a very wet day, it's Robertson, it's Hitley! Well, great play again by Mark Hitley. Applause ringing round the stadium. The corner kick being sent in by Peter Haustra. Again, Hitley proving his worth in the air as Robertson crossed from the left. Ball from Malpass. We find this bit. Malpass getting away from Ian Ferguson. Forward now to Christian Daly. Daly forcing the play forward. Daly again. Great save by Andy Gorham. Well, Christian Daly pushing his way forward, showing a lot of persistence. The chance was on for the shot, but that was fine goalkeeping by Andy Gorham. David Roberts now clearing for Rangers. Hitley, a very strong challenge there by John Clark. The Rangers have the free kick. It's been a difficult afternoon so far for John Clark. Hitley doing so well in there. So Rangers coming forward now through Gary Stevens. Stepping away from Bolin. John Clark nipping in the head of Hitley. It's Hauster for Rangers. Nice little touch to Robertson. Kailachenko. First time shot. Well, the ball into the side netting. Alan Min getting a hand to it. And Rangers have the corner. It was a lovely little touch there from Hauster to Robertson. He played it to Mikhail Lachenko. He just turned in it first time. And Alan Min pushing it behind Hauser's corner, Hatley coming in goal kick Hauser taking the ball well right across goal Main committing himself, missing it Hatley off target now we pick the water to Rangers there by Christian Daly David Robertson hey. Lachenko is possessed by Jim McAnally Duncan Ferguson trying to take on this bit Gary Stevens is providing cover Daly laying it off the chance on for Billy McKinley Oh, an amazing save by Andy Gorham getting his left hand to the ball from point blank range it was a fine shot teed up by Christian Daly for Billy McKinley he rifled it with his right foot and look at that for tremendous goalkeeping he played the other end onto McCoy then comes Haustra Peter Haustra well Haustra can't believe it Great save by Alan Min. It was Hitley and McCoist helping tear up Hausra, getting away from the defenders. First time shot, an excellent save by Alan Min. Well, the offside flag goes up against the Rangers strikers. Very close decision there. 
Clark's free kick again aimed for Duncan Ferguson. We're going to get the touch. No one to take advantage. in level terms, there's a shot from Jim McAnally well, McAnally's looked quite comfortable this afternoon and this is first game of the season, he's played well it was a first time shot but no real trouble for Andy Gorham and the referee checking his watch looking towards the linesman and there in fact goes the half time whistle well an interesting first half great saves by both goalkeepers but there's the man of the moment, Ali McCoyst with 42 minutes on the clock, running on to a long ball from Scott Nisbet and drilling it past Alan May. The half-time score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 1, Dundee United 0. There's Sally McCoyst and Mark Hatley start the second half. Hatley climbing. Then had to wreck quickly. Bowman quickly shut down by Mikhailichenko. Running into trouble. Mikhailichenko. Well, David Neary getting in a foot. Oh, plenty of applause for the Ukrainian player. As Bowman getting himself into a tight corner. Mikhailichenko stepping in. Looked as though he might have the shot. He just delayed a little bit too much. Rangers, high foot there from Bowen. Who's nets off? Good ball to Haustra. Robertson racing in support. Haustra with the cross. Well past chesting it down, but it goes behind for the corner kick. Good play by Peter Haustra again. Using his left foot to send it across. There's no real problem for Malpass, but it's a bit of a breakdown in communication with the goalkeeper. Rangers have the corner. It's a shot, one play to Gary Stevens. Ian Ferguson. Can lay a nice turn against Mikhailo Chenko. Ferguson, but now it's Malpass, driving it forward. Not a bad effort by the Dundee United skipper. Taking the ball from Bolin. The look up towards goal. The gap opened up and he had the shot, which was well taken by Andy Gorham. House for Rangers, Kailachenko. Hoist, the early cross, that was David Neri pushing it behind for the corner kick. Good build up by Rangers involving Mikhailichenko and McCoyst with that early ball. Again, Nisbet going forward to join Hitley. There he is, poised. There's Hoistra. Takes the corner. Chris 
that song. Spackman, most just wait. Just a little touch there to Michaela Chenko. Hostra again. Well, good linking between the Ukrainian and Dutch players. Hitley and Clark going for it. Clark getting the break. Shot with the pass, but in trouble again as it breaks to Hostra. Oh, great goalkeeping again by Alan Main at full stretch. Snatching the ball away from the head of Hitley, who had got into good position. Again, an excellent cross by Peter Haustra. And as Hitley come in, great dive by Min. John Clark moving forward to the edge of the area. So Billy McKinley in the corner. That's a line in's in there. A Dundee United have scored. It's Duncan Ferguson. They got a second bite at it. Gorham made the save initially. The ball breaking back to the United striker. So 59 minutes gone. It's Rangers 1, Dundee United 1. The corner kick coming in from Billy McKinley. Mitsu Patalainen launched himself at the ball. Got the touchdown, the first time shot there. Got him, made the save in difficult circumstances, but it broke back to Duncan Ferguson, who put United on level terms. So that's his third goal of the season. He scored against Dunfermline last week in the 3 0 victory. It's an important goal for Dundee United. Go to McCoist. It's late. Well, how unlucky for Matt Hitley and Rangers. The first time shot coming off the right hand post of Alan Min. It was Michaela Chenko to McCoist into the path of Hitley. The first time shot, and Alan Main could only look down to that right hand post as the ball came crashing back up. to Haustra. Now it's Dutchman against Dutchman. Van der Hoen sticking to the task now. It's Mikhailichenko. Haustra. Mikhailichenko again. Good play. Well, showing all of his skills. Down he goes. The referee says no penalty. Well, the challenge was made by Billy McKinley. Some outstanding play by Mikhailichenko. Taking on player after player. Inside the area. Well, the referee was well up with the play. I think uh, he got that one right. Pinkos keeping possession. Well, a slack this there by Kalichenko, and he caught Bowman very late. And the referee is calling him back. Bowman cleared the ball, a very late challenge coming in from Alexei Mikhailichenko, and he's shown the yellow card. As the Dundee United manager and chairman, of course, Jim McLean, issuing some instructions down towards Paul Sturrock in the dugout, and uh, there's a man who used to work alongside him at uh, Tanner Ice, sitting behind him, Walter Smith. a pity for the player and for Dundee United as he's worked very hard this afternoon so Bowman comes back onto the field Ali McCoy is taken out of the play and free kick to the Rangers well John Clark 
I think they've been in trouble with the referee here for persistent fouling. He's already been warned. He launches himself in. Well, spoken to again by the referee. And now a warning for Freddie Vanderhoen for his challenge on Peter Housetrap. Well, the temperature's rising out there. Chenko. The Rangers about to make a substitution. That was a high ball coming in, a disappointing effort by Mikhail Chenko. So he now leaves the field. Maybe just feeling the pace of the game too much for him. He's replaced by Ian Durant. Beckman, Robertson. Well, that's a ridiculous challenge by Van der Hoorn. Robertson trying to control a difficult ball. He did so with his head. And Van der Hoorn launching himself in at the Rangers player. With the yellow card was shown. of the match, Robertson has recovered that's a line in Snyder, but picked up by Durant a lot of jostling going on in the penalty area, headed clear by McAnally, well there's Ferris Speckman good ball to Houstra an awkward one for Alan Men. well that appeared to be drifting away from goal and suddenly dipped under the crossbar, and Alan Main at full stretch had to tip it behind. So Houstra with the corner. Paisley coming in. Headed away by Duncan Ferguson. It's Ian Ferguson. Well, Ian Ferguson packed such a good shot. He'll be disappointed with himself. The ball coming off the head of his namesake, Duncan. He fires it well over the bar. Patalainen. There goes the final whistle in a hard fought contest. And there's the man who brought Dundee United back into the game in the second half, Duncan Ferguson. It was a corner kick that came in. Big Sue Patalainen launched himself at it. It broke into the path of Duncan Ferguson and at the second attempt he got it past Andy Gorham. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 1, Dundee United 1. Walter, your views on the result and the performance? On the result, I don't think we could grumble really. Um, it's not our best performance since the season started, uh, and home games especially. Um, Dundee United, I felt, started the game very well and for the first half hour, Andy Gorham with a couple of saves that, that, that kept us in the game. After that, I think possibly we had maybe slightly the better of the pressure. Um, but uh, we can't grumble in the overall result. It's been a difficult week for you. You've lost Richard Goff, you lost Mo Johnson, but significantly the loss of Stuart McCall from midfield, uh, that was a bit of a blow today. Yeah, last week I, I, I left him out of the, the game at Falkirk. Um, my own decision, uh, I felt that with the international on Wednesday, the, this game today and the, the game next Wednesday, it was maybe a chance to give a midfield player a break. I didn't think we did quite as well uh, at Falkirk last week, and I think leaving him out, well I didn't leave him out, he's injured today, but uh, missing today, uh, we missed a little bit of the spark that we have in the middle of the park, um, and uh, you know, uh, you have to look at that as being maybe possibly the most significant one. Uh, Mikhail Chenko come in, do you think maybe the pace of things caught him a wee bit today? Well, uh, people have got to appreciate it. It does take a while for, for people to settle down. I read an article by Ray Wilkins during the week there saying it, it did take him a month to, to get himself involved in, 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 totally in Scottish football. I think it might take Mikhailichenko maybe a bit longer than that. And we'll have to play him in, and people will have to appreciate that.